In the previous video, we finished up our full website build. Now we need to deploy our website over to Firebase Hosting. Okay, so before we begin, I'm going to head over to nodejs.org and I just want to remind you that for this part of the series and video, that in order to deploy your website over to Firebase Hosting, you're going to need Node.js installed on your computer. So if you don't, pause the video, come over to the link down below in the description and download and install the latest version of Node.js. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now inside of our Firebase project that we created a few videos ago, we're going to head over to the navigation here on the left hand side and we're going to select the hosting options. So we need to select the get started here in the hero or header section. So we're going to do that. And the first thing that we get prompted with is to install the Firebase CLI. So we need to go ahead and run this command here in our project. So what I'm gonna do is copy this. We're going to head over to our project here and we need to open up a new terminal inside VS Code. So we're gonna head to the top here and we're going to select new terminal. Now we are in our new biz folder here and all we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste that command in from the Firebase uh, hosting site and we're going to hit enter. And here you're gonna see that it's going to start installing all the Firebase tools we're going to need to deploy our site. All right, so it appears that we ran into an error here. So what this actually is pertaining to is a permission error. So I'm not sure if any of you will run into this issue when installing this as I am, but for some reason when I set up my Mac, I did something wrong. And now whenever I install these packages, I have to go ahead and use the keyword sudo and then paste that command in. And then it's gonna ask me for my Mac password and that should go ahead and resolve the issue and install without a problem. So if you do run into this issue, just go ahead and use the sudo keyword in front of the CLI command and you should be all set. Okay, so now we are all set. It went ahead and installed it successfully. So let's head over to Firebase to continue our setup here. So let's go ahead and select next here. Now we need to go ahead and initialize our project. So we need to first sign into Google. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this command and head back to our command line here. And I believe I'm already going to be signed in. So if I hit Firebase login, it's going to give you my uh, email here. And so we are successfully logged in. Now, if you have never used the Firebase tools before, it may prompt you to log in. I'm actually not sure what it will uh, have you do. I think it may just connect with your, uh, your cache on your browser. So I'm not 100% sure since I'm already signed in here, but as you can see, that was successful. Okay, next up, we need to initialize our project by running the Firebase init. So let's go ahead and copy this. And once again, we're gonna run this inside of our terminal. So when we go ahead and say Firebase init here, it's going to ask us which Firebase CLLI features do we want to set up for our project. So the only thing we're going to do is we're going to set up Firestore by selecting space, and then we're going to select Firebase hosting, and then we're going to select enter. Now it's going to ask us to select an option here. So we already have the project created on our uh, Firebase uh, the console. So what we can say here is use an existing project and it's going to prompt us with all the projects that we have on our account and I'm gonna come down here to uh, new biz dash YouTube. So we're gonna select that and now we need to select the Firebase rules. So we're gonna leave that as default. So I'm gonna press enter and then it's gonna say what file should be used for the Firestore indexes. Once again, we're going to go ahead and select enter on this. And then it says, what do you want to use as your public directory? So for this case, we're going to keep it as public and we're going to hit enter and configure, uh, uh, configure as a single page app. We're going to say no, okay? And then it's gonna say set up automatic builds and deploy with GitHub. We're also going to select no for this project and our initialization was complete. With our init complete, we're left with a few new files and folders within our directory here. So at the top, you can see we have this .firebase folder. We're not going to worry about that. We have this folder called public, which we'll be getting to in just a second. And then we have these Firebase files on here, which we're not going to be using or utilizing or touching uh, for this part. So now if we head over back to the Firebase hosting setup guide here, you can see it says, when you're ready to deploy your web app, put your static files in your apps deploy directory, which is the public folder. So what we need to do is we're going to open up this public folder and by default, it will generate a 404 and also an index.html. So we'll keep the 404, but we're going to delete this index.html 
and we're going to use ours. Okay, and then we need to import all of our CSS. So we're going to throw our CSS in there, our Firebase file, our images, our JavaScript, and then finally our Al Carousel. Okay, and then once that is complete, we can copy this command for Firebase deploy, and then it will deploy our website over to Firebase. So we're going to copy and paste that in and run that command, and then it will show you what's going on here. So it's going to start deploying. And we should have this done in a few seconds here. And now, as you can see, the deploy was complete. And here is our hosting URL. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to head over to a new tab here. And we're going to paste this in. And you should see we have our fully hosted website here now deployed to Firebase. So let's go ahead and scroll through here and make sure everything looks great. And it does. Everything's working. Our carousel is still working. All of our hover stuff is working. So everything is imported successfully and let's just check mobile to make sure everything should be good though and yep yeah, so that is going to do it that is how you deploy your website over to firebase hosting they make it very easy to go ahead and deploy it to their platform so that is going to do it for our full website build series hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did make sure to leave a like on it down below